Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really special video for you today where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together. I will be bringing you my analysis. I'll be going through the current trade that I am in and where I am looking to take that trade going into 2022. Hint, it is higher from here by the way. I'll be going over where exactly I am looking for to the upside and how we can actually look to approach the next trade in the coming few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's obviously a really special and happy time of the year. I bring you this video, honestly, I am I am very, 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 very happy right now. I truly hope that you are too. And oh, it's just gonna be a good video. It's gonna be a good video. As always, I just ask that you pay full attention, whether this is 20, 30, 40 minutes, however long this video ends up being. I just honestly think you just need to pay full attention because I'm gonna be dropping some golden nuggets. I'm gonna be giving you some top quality professional analysis. And we're gonna be sharing the passion and the love, and that is Bitcoin, the charts and trading. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you honestly, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this video because I'm gonna absolutely love making it for you, so let's go. Um, so yeah, let's, let's begin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh, it's gonna be fairly simple where we're gonna begin with. As always, the structure of this video is I'm gonna be going over this last rise of the past few days of price action, leading on to where we are right now and where I'm looking to take this up towards. Okay, so if we just add on our bits of analysis that we have here. Okay, the last major analysis that we were talking about was obviously the CC Fibonacci level. Okay, obviously this hit on back on, on the 17th towards the middle of the 17th. Okay, and I was obviously prior from this in a short position from a harmonic pattern. I was in obviously short from a harmonic and I knew that this was our major level of support. So you can kind of visualize this to help it get into your brain. This is from a champion's live stream, but nevertheless, it, this is a key CC Fibonacci level that we are definitely aware of. Okay, it's a really big, important level that you know one just has to be you know always aware of. And it comes together actually with some really nice confluence in the end because we did not only have that CC, which obviously we bounced off the top of it very perfectly. But we had some confluence coming in here and that was the swing failure pattern and it was the way that it formed okay we had the swing failure pattern onto the top of the cc and you know this is what i love to say we start to have the icing on the cake and honestly if you watched my last video that i made which was on the morning of the 17th uh, it was it was talking obviously about how some people are doing kind of ludicrous calls and I could not stop laughing. I kid you not, I just could not stop laughing because uh, probably about two hours after that video, madre mia, oh my God, it happened again. The icing on the cake. I do not trade directly trade off of this, so I could not class it as a confluence, but I can call it icing on the cake. When I'm already looking for the trade, I see this. Oh my, you, you really couldn't make it up. It's as I wrote here, <laughs> you could not make it up. But obviously the clouds need their paycheck again. And we are having a swing failure pattern. So you see here, this was, you know, as it was happening, that swing failure pattern, e.g. we've taken the lows onto the top of the CC. This is the long trigger. As I wrote here, I am long from this swing failure pattern. And this is the icing on the cake. What is the icing on the cake? Well, it was apparently, <laughs> there's a huge breakdown happening, losing the who cares about it ema ribbons i uh, you know i i i uh, you just couldn't make it you just couldn't have made that up in the slightest the way that we're hitting our support levels we're hitting the support levels we're hitting the top of the cc it's a swing failure pattern and you know if you don't know what a swing failure pattern is of course you're going to be probably pretty bearish and panic selling especially if you're a retail trader is following this type of hints, um, you know, this at the time, you, you might fall into the category of, of thinking, yeah, this is pretty bearish. This is breaking down. Oh my God, I'm really scared. And then you flip this on the head. You know, you, you understand swing failure patterns. You understand Fibonacci. You understand that you actually had four different confluences there from a technical perspective. This is, this is a long trade every day of the week. And how do you trade swing failure patterns? If, if you've followed our, and studied our content, you will know this. You have a long position. Where is your stop loss? The stop loss is below the low of the wick. And I want to show you something that's really amazing here. And that was that this low, obviously, to give you the swing failure pattern here on the 17th, this low was never taken out. 
we never took out the low of that swing failure pattern. So the beauty of this is the trade can still be running because that low was never taken out. And what's happened? Well, we are coming up to the top of the range. We envisioned this being a range very, very, very early on, you know, back from when we were originally you know, saying, hey, well, here's the CC support. We have the resistance at $52,000. You know, this is just a range to be trading. And ultimately, we've come down, we've hit that CC, and now we're heading back up towards the top of the range. And this is why it pays to be bullish at support, you know, and now, you know, <laughs> wary at, at the very least. I'll explain my thought process of what's going on here um, at resistance. So, okay. But, you know, that that for me was just absolutely hilarious. The fact that we had hit the support that we were waiting for, we form a swing failure pattern on it, and then the icing on the cake that apparently we got, a huge bearish breakdown was coming. It was lovely. And as this guy says, thank you very much. Can't thank you enough. Managing to get those entries around that 45,700. Obviously, the low was being 45,300. It was just, it was, a, it was a brilliant day. What could we say? Uh, anyway, I digress from that and I move on here, bringing it a bit more, bit more serious because that, that was a bit of a, a joke way to begin with. But it, it, oh yeah, as soon as I saw it on that day, I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't stop laughing because it was just like, I, this long, <laughs> I truly feel it's going to do well now. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So obviously we moved on and we did get a bounce overall from this level, never taken out the low of that swing failure pattern. Fibonacci CC was too strong in the end. And we obviously started to form this range that was going on here. So it's almost like we got a range within a range. You know, see how the advantage of understanding how to trade ranges are here? It truly is. But anyway, we, we move on and we start to form this range here over the last few days. You know, Mike made a video during this section and, you know, we've been keeping people updated. Obviously, here we are on Christmas Eve. I'm still making a video because I absolutely love what I do. And we obviously had this range. OK, so the range that we were trading, this was over on the Twitch live stream. Again, very early on, identifying that range. You know, this is on a five minute chart. We have a high, we have our low. I mean, look at this <laughs> magic dots for you. But we obviously hit our support once. We come down, we hit our support twice, we come back up to the top of the range. And this was like, this is just what we mean by, you know, really great trading the charts. I just want to show you, just emphasize like how accurate these levels can be. Obviously, we're looking down here towards the CC on the POC. Once again, whether it's the higher term time frames, whether it's a daily chart, four hour chart, or here on the five minute chart, these levels, when you know what you're doing, you find the confluence. They're, they're, they're brilliant. They really are. You can see we're ready and waiting for this level. And this is the reaction. That's obviously then the come down of that level. Okay. Obviously, come down, hit your CC, POC, and look at this. You hit that level, you bounced up towards new highs on that range. You know, it's just like the, the, the simple things. So not, not, I'm not going to say overly simple things, but, you know, the, the the way that you approach the chart, the way you do your analysis, it's 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 uh, methodical, it's thought through, it's, it's well processed. And Overall, of course, this brings you up to where we are right now. So that was a bit of a quicker walkthrough uh, of, you know, how we got up to this level. But overall, it was support found at the, you know, the overall CC, which we could class as our, you know, range low. And now we're making our way up towards that $52,000 being the range high. So if we just mark on here, we obviously, you know, basically $52,000. So this is the overall range high. OK, so if we are saying to ourselves, this is the range high. OK, and again, I want to emphasize this. This can definitely be viewed as a zone. So whether you fall slightly short of it or whether you go slightly, but this is a zone of the range high, just as the, 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 the range low is always classed as a zone because we're either looking for failed auctions and swing failure patterns, obviously that, that double top type move. Something to be aware of here. But in my opinion, if you caught that swing failure pattern, like I know some other people did along with me, then, you know, you can definitely still be in this. And, and obviously there's not really a reason to close here. You know, let's say worst case scenario, because this would, I suppose this would be the worst case scenario that you kind of just break down ultra from here without making any new highs. And it's just a breakdown. Well, obviously, you can have trailed now your stop loss, OK, up into profits because you've obviously hit the middle of this range, which is naturally a decent take profit one at the very least, take profit one or a take profit two at this point. And so that stop loss can be moved, uh, you know, at the very least, it should be at your entry by now or, or you could move it up obviously to in my opinion up to these series of lows because now we've had a higher term time frame market structure change obviously from that low we put in a high and the market structure is changing here after we put in the higher low this is now our higher high so low high higher low here we make our higher high higher low higher high 
at this point you can definitely have moved this stop loss up into profits one second please <coughs> oh sorry about that so yeah that's what i would say is the kind of the worst case scenario that we just dropped from here because obviously it's pretty difficult at this point in moment in my opinion to get into that short position and I think you're 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 long instead of hitting a, another take profit above you, which is always desirable. Will obviously hit a, a hit, hit your stop loss um, in profit, so it's not the end of the world because it's uh, a stop loss in profits. But of course, it's still going to hit your stop loss. That's if you come back now down below, you know, forty eight thousand um, dollars. That stop loss is, in my opinion, would be hit. There's no need to have a stop loss higher than this at the moment. We'll then see how the top of the range goes. Um, I do want to go into more detail of how I am personally actually approaching this in terms of my targets to the upside, because obviously, as I've kind of hinted here, I am looking for higher. OK, there's just two really quick announcements that I want to do. And that is the first one uh, being um, the contenders live stream that I done on Wednesday. This is still totally valid. It's more of like a high term time frame, long term swing trade plans for the altcoins. If you're interested in that, that's obviously over on the website, chartchampions.com where you can sign up and you know this is where you get all the educational content and uh you know you also get some bonus content of how i'm reading the charts you know as it's happening and uh recent times obviously done a pretty insane atom trade we've been trade you know we've been trading dot uh polka dot you know very well indeed uh the other one that was obviously that shiba call which, by the way, if you think we've been doing some pretty good calls on the public videos, uh, that was on, on the 20th of December, check when the low was on SHIB, 20th of December, uh, going, you know, calling SHIB. If you think I've been doing a lot for the public, you can just imagine how much more I've been doing for the members. OK, and I will just show you this for a second. That, um, <laughs> yeah, this was pretty insane. But this is obviously talking about the Shiba call that I made for the members 20th of December. Look where this print screen was, 1708 on the 20th, posted in the group, 1708 on the 20th. There's no delay, there's no hesitation, but this was a level that I gave to the champions on Sunday. We're talking about a week before this had happened, marking out the key level. We see that key level hit, we see the reaction, taking the trade, you know, obviously at the time, then we're talking about how many hours later was it, you know, about an hour later, we see a 7% bounce. This has turned now, by the way, into over a 40% bounce, over a 40% bounce, by the way, that was that key level. And Madre Mia, the way that that took off is absolutely, well, nothing short of incredible. I, I think you can agree with me. But you know, this is the sort of thing that you get obviously within the group. Um, no, we we obviously are giving a lot. I think I truly think we're giving a lot away for free to the public. Obviously, there's a next level for within inside the group, and that's where you get the actual understanding and education, and then you get little little heads up like this. Um, I mean that that was a next level call. Cool. Let's not like let's not kid ourselves. That was pretty pretty insane. But anyway, that was the first announcement. Second announcement is um, uh, yeah, you you you. <laughs> For the people that don't know, you'll be getting an email into your inbox over the next few days and it will contain some links to a few different websites. And just to know if, if the email is coming from us, chartchampions.com, ending in uh, from Mike, you know, the website's legit. You can trust it and you can click on the links. Um, obviously, if you ever want to confirm anything, message customer service, they'll be more than happy to help you uh, with those queries or, you know questions and that's it that's it from me so now we're going to resume back onto the charts okay so let me just close down the tabs that i wanted to talk about uh yes this is what i just wanted to talk about there you go that 40 percent sheep call because that was absolutely insane and with that said let's close those down those tabs so i remember right talking about what's happening next so i think this is truly 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 important okay uh that is that we are you know, let's say that you're in a similar position to me. OK, that's this is, you know, say you've also got into long positions. I don't think it was overly difficult to capture some of these longs. And we've obviously made our way up towards the top of the range. You know, the question is going to be, is it a good time to open a long position now? OK, is it is it good to open a long now? OK, think about this for a second. OK, think about it for a second. I would hope that your answer would 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 be on the side of no. I, I do not think it's good to open a long now. This is not to say that we cannot just do this and go much higher. But I still think if we are talking about good habits to be in and good trades to get involved in, is it a good time to long just below resistance? Well, my answer is going to be no. I would never 
regardless of the way that we're approaching this ever long into resistance. It's just not a method of trading I do. I am only looking for longs when price is low. I'm only looking for my shorts when price is high. So the only thing I ask myself up at this level is, have I got a short position set up yet? Yes or no? And in my opinion, no, I don't have one at the moment. So I am I am remaining patient for my next trading setup, no? And that would either be, it would have to be, you know, a loss of, you know, a loss of support up here, okay? Or alternatively, it's going to be something either along this line with a swing failure pattern, okay, above the high swing failure pattern, or, you know, this type of failed auction where we're coming up above the high, you know, spending some time up and around here, and then a loss of the level and back into the range, okay? And that obviously gives you another, um, you know, trading short position as well. So th th that would be my preferred scenario, that we either see this kind of failed auction, e.g. we come above the highs, everybody gets ultra bullish, but down below the level, or of course, just the simple swing failure pattern. Okay, and the, the, the reverse scenario of this, this those are obviously more bearish ideas, the reverse scenario of this is that we just kind of break out and, and, and go. Okay, we could obviously form a bit of a range here first and range on here for a little bit before, you know, breaking out. And if that's the case, and there's no failed auction, no swing failure pattern, then really simply we look for higher. No, we look for the next level above us, and it's as simple as that. We are granted in a very, very, very nice position to be in. Of okay, we don't need to get involved and trade where we don't want to trade. We can really simply make a plan, and this plan will either come to fruition where we will see what we want, what we have planned for, and we will take the trade without hesitation, with not being scared, not being emotional, not thinking, am I right? Am I wrong? But thinking, hey, I've seen what I've want. I've planned for this. I'm taking the trade. What's the worst that can happen in that scenario? The worst that, that, can, that can happen is I lose the trade. Does that affect me in the slightest? No. I will record what went wrong on that idea, why I was wrong, what could have I done to improve next time? And it's, it's, it's classed as a learning experience, no? And, you know, we're not getting depressed because we are already defining our risk before we enter the trade. E.g. we are not going to be in the position of this. Coming down to a support level that we have planned and waiting for, e.g. a support, and then start to think to ourselves, oh my god, this is an emergency breakdown. What a huge warning. Oh my god, we're losing the EMA ribbons. I'm so scared. No, we're thinking to ourselves, hey, this is our long opportunity. This is a level of support. Just as up here, I'm thinking to myself, this is a level of resistance. I'm planning for short positions. Doesn't mean I'm going to take one. It depends on the reaction, of course. As I will always, you know, say, I wait for their reactions. I'm not presetting a short order here because I have absolutely zero need to do that. Zero need in the world to do that. <laughs> why, why would I do that? <laughs> if you know my style of trading, I'm not doing it. So I've, I've you know, I'm going to really simply have the alerts. If we come up with a swing failure pattern, failed auction back into the range, hey, I've got a setup. If we just break out, you know, to the next level, well, you know, it, it's just really simple. Okay. And it's just like, I think some people are overly complicating things like thinking to themselves, oh my God, I can't take a loss. You know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, if you take a loss in trading, so, so be it. We are trading the game at the end of the day of probabilities. You cannot expect to win 100% of your trades. Yeah, as long as you're winning more than you lose, or as long as your winners are as big, as, you know, smaller than your losses, then it's just irrelevant. Yeah, you can't be scared. You can't be fearful. You can't be overanalyzing these type of things. It's just make a plan and then trade it. I, I Truly, truly, truly. And I know I make it easier, easier said than done sort of thing. But trust me, um, you know, it takes time, it takes experience. I'm not going to come here and say it's absolutely simple, easy, follow these one and two simple steps and you're going to make it. Of course, it takes hard work and dedication to get to the level, um, you know, that, that, that people are out of, of being good traders. But it, all we can say is it's definitely achievable. Yeah, it's, it's achievable if you put in the work. Um, so yeah, that, that would be my thought process going into the next you know, maybe next few days going into 2022, start of 2022. Obviously, I'm, I, I must admit, I'm super hyped, super excited for what lies ahead of us because I see the future. Uh, <laughs> I see the potential that we have here. And I think it's just, I just think it's very big. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just super excited for it.
So that's what I really wanted to bring your attention towards, how we can trade this range until it breaks. If it breaks up, then guess what? We're not going to keep on shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting. No, we're going to wait for our next level above us and then take the reaction based off of that. Yeah, take the trade based off of that reaction. We're not, you know, I'm not a perma bull. I'm not a perma bear. I'm someone that will just happily trade shorts, happily trade longs at high levels of confluence, e.g. where probabilities are in my favor. Yeah. And this is how you extract money from the market. That is how you are the casino in this, you know, this realm of gamblers where 95% of people lose money. Why? Because they're chasing green dots. They're chasing the, they're chasing the random things in the market. They're following these, you know, they're just doing absolutely random things, e.g. gambling. And in a market of gamblers, when you're the casino, you walk away with money. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and our results prove that time and time and time again. Um, so yeah, that, that's the analysis that I wanted to bring you through towards here. Obviously, I am going to be keeping my eye on this over the next probably 10 minutes, as I do have something close to my heart that I want to talk about. We can keep our eye, as you kind of enjoyed recent, recent times, we'll keep our eye on this order flow together. Oh, we actually are getting some bearish uh, divergences here, something to be aware of. Uh, again, you know, this is the thing. I am not longing up here, but obviously a lot of people are. We are getting some slight bearish divergences. Um, it's not enough for me to close out of my longs because I have my longs from lower. This is obviously at the moment aggressive. We still hold the local MS. Um, obviously, if this is lost, it's, it's not going to be as great. But you can see here a lot of like, you could call this like FOMO longs coming in here. You know, we're seeing, you know, several hun you know, hundreds of, actually hundreds of millions, 20, 21 million, 17 million, 13 million, 18 million, 11 million, you know, several multi-million longs opening up here. Of course, it's not necessarily bearish yet because we haven't broken down at all. But if we do, well, of course, it can accelerate moves to the downside and where we could get that scenario where it does move down fairly quickly if we start to lose support or support holds you know we cannot pre-anticipate a move down yet but if we start to see that happening well you know we can definitely acknowledge why it's happened and that's the important thing at the very least to know why something's happened uh anyway We'll keep our eye on this over the next 10 minutes. I just want to talk about something pretty close to my heart because uh, I do feel it's important this time of the year. Obviously, um, myself personally, I'm, I, I, as always, I will tell you, I feel very blessed, very fortunate, you know, just extremely happy to even be here, to be honest with you. And that is, um, you know, it is the time of the year where I do hope, you know, I pray and hope that you are doing very well. I hope that you're happy. I hope that you have a family and friends around you at this time of the year. But I think it's important to reflect. Um, on what you have and what you don't have and what you want and what you would like to achieve in the coming year. And it's, I mean, this is why I love the community. This is why I absolutely love it because pe pe people are like-minded. Yeah, we, we, we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals. We surround ourselves with successful people that are doing well, that want to do well and that, shame, that share our same beliefs, no? And well, when I saw this, it just it just made me inside feel, ah, you know, this is, I like to be here. <laughs> and uh, it was a it was a post actually posted by somebody else in the group that says you're going to come in contact with an awful lot of people who are at their absolute breaking points this season. Friends, family, co-workers, teachers, strangers in the grocery store, retail workers. While it may be the merriest time of the year for some, it is the saddest, loneliest, most stressful, most heartbreaking for so many others. We're all busy, but we are not too busy to be kind, caring and patient. Remember, the best thing you can give someone right now is love. And I replied by this by just emphasizing, you know, yeah, 100%. I always think about this at Christmas time. You, you really have to try and make an effort if you can, you know, go to the shelters, um, you know, buy a, a group of presents, hand them out to the people that are in need, fam people that are struggling, and most importantly, obviously, just be kind. And um, I just thought that this was, it's just so true. And I'm not even joking, I could tear up, I <laughs> kind of feel it coming. But for me, it's just, it's absolutely heartbreaking, you know. Um, and also, like, it, it's really, I just love to, like, not love, but I just, just reflect, I suppose, at times of, you know, you just sometimes have to think how fortunate you are. Um, and yeah, like I just f feel sometimes like, wow, I can't believe like, oh my God, I did not want to cry in this video. You're gonna, you're gonna hate me. <laughs> but yeah, I just, when I think about the, some of the struggles that some people are going through and, um, you know, this is why I try, honestly, try my very, very, very best to, um, 
make the world a better place in, in the way that I can possible, you know, whether this is being charitable, whether this is donating to people, whether this is just spending time on YouTube today, like making YouTube videos, I truly, truly believe that I am helping people with this. It's, it, for me, this is a really good use of my time. Why? Because I have expertise and skills with inside trading, you know, that can help people not get wrecked, yeah, but not getting, you know, bearish at support, uh, and not getting bearish at support, not getting bullish at resistance, but trading the charts, trading what's happening. And by passing across this information, well, I, you know, I can see that it's helping, but, you know, trading aside, like just, just in like the, the general world, you know, I want you to know this, whether you are at your very highs, well, that's brilliant. And honestly, that that's amazing. If you, if you're doing really well in trading, Sometimes I think it's just nice to think, hey, what what more can you do outside of this to to really give back and and and, and bring someone else up to your level? Because I personally feel I'm, you know, very, you know, I've done this post on Twitter the other day. I'm in a situation. My brother, obviously, he was in a nice flat. He liked it, <laughs> but he got a dog. He was like, hey, Daniel, I need a I need a house and a garden now. We want to get move out of the flat because we we he always said he didn't want one, but he wanted a house and a garden because he had a dog. I was like, hey leave it with me, two days later, secured him the house. So I, obviously I'm in a very privileged position and I never will hold this for granted. I know today I'm at the highs, but next month I can be at the very lows. I can be depressed, sad. Um, I understand this. With, with every high that there's a low that's going to be coming, just like trading. Things go up and down in life. Things go up and down. So I understand this and this is why I try my very best to help people that are at their lows because then I hope, I suppose in some way, that when I'm at my very lows, there will be someone looking out for me, no? Um, and I think, just think, if you can make the world, obviously, we cannot change the world totally, but if every person tries their very best to make the world a better place, this is the least we can do for each other, no? This is the very least we can do. <laughs> just don't bring sadness and pain, bring happiness and joy, and, you know, we're not we're just trying to do every little thing in every little way that we can, I suppose. And yeah, a bit of a tangent on the end of this video, but yeah, I just, I just, uh, uh, you know, emphasize the words really that yes, it's a really good, happy time for many, but for others, it's it's not. And so if we can just appreciate what we have and what we can do to, you know, help others out that aren't at this same point in our, uh, same point in their lives, um, I think, I just, I did think we can just spread, spread some needed happiness and positivity in a, in a, in a time where there isn't as much, no. Um, and I think that was about it that I wanted to cover in today's video. Um, yeah, I think that was it. So overall, that's the message that I wanted to send you. We are currently in a range. It's as simple as that. We have our range low, which is obviously this region of support. We have this range high, which is obviously this region of resistance. If we break the range high, we look towards our next level. If we break the range low, we obviously look down towards the low of the wick. It's as simple as that. Um, if we break the high with no rejections, then obviously we look up. If we break the range low with no rejections, we look down. If we get failed auctions slash swing failure patterns, well, obviously these are bearish or bullish setups, depending on whether it's now of this low or this high. Okay, it really s simply is, you know, this bearish divergence is kind of insane. But it kind of, it really simply is just make that plan and then trade it, yeah? Just like when I done that ETH call, not Ethereum call, just like when I done that Shiba call, only the majority of the circling supply. Obviously that helps. I'm not going to lie. It, it helps when you have a lot of money back in your other trades. But at the end of the day, it was, you know, make a plan, trade the plan, bam, 40% gains in a few days. That's absolutely insane, by the way, when you think about those numbers. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't just buying that on Bybit, by the way. I had to buy this on other exchanges. But anyway, I digress. Like, yeah, it was insane the amount. Yeah, anyway, I don't want to go on about it. Um, it, it, it just emphasizing really simply, you need to put in the time. You need to actually study. And um, yeah, that, 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 that's, truly how, that's truly how you make it in this game. It's, it, it's by having the knowledge behind you. Yeah, simple as that. Um, so yeah, I hope that I've, I hope that I've assisted you in today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, as always, I will say, you know, you can give a like to this video. Smash that like button to a new all-time high. Uh, hit the like button, hit the share, and uh, let's spread the love, I suppose. Thank you ever so much.
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly hope that you have a special few days going into 2022. And I suppose if you are alone, if you are sad, well, guess what? We have a family over here inside of Chart Champions. Come over, join the Discord. If you are alone, you can make friends here. 100% you can make friends. Some of my best friends are from the group that I've met online. And, um, you know, so if you want, if you need some help, whether, whether it's help in trading, well, guess what? You can definitely get that. Uh, if, it, if it's something in your personal life, someone's here to lend a helping hand, whether it's something about the psychology, the emotions, whatever you're going through, there's somebody here that will help. You know, I, I've I think I've done a quite good job of building a team, uh, not just of the best traders in the world, but also of you know, like-minded people that are positive, that are happy, that, that are here to, to, you know, with your best intentions in mind. So, um, you know, come over and say hello. And someone will be here for you this Christmas. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. As this little bit of a drop goes underway, um, you know, this is just our local range. Thank you ever so much. And have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful few days. Thank you. I'll see you soon and goodbye. Cheers.